So after learning to be a proper butler, are you more helpful around the house? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I don't, we don't go to the formal dining <laughs> service system as much. You know? It takes a, it's a lot of little details to be able to deal with that, you know. But uh, it was good to learn, actually. It was interesting. And also, you know, I was so impressed with the way you age Cecil. Mm. Uh, what's the trick to doing it so subtly? Uh, I did it by uh, using my experiences that I would put in my body and different feelings and stuff. Uh, and that's how I age, more like by the weight of the experiences than by like trying to physically manufacture the aging process. I just let the experiences do it. I didn't think, oh, I'm 90, you move like this. I was like, no, this is what's happened, and this is why, and now I start to move a certain way. You know, so often films about race have a lot of anger in them. Hmm. What was it like making a film that has so much hope? I think that there's always hope, you know. I mean, certainly each time we take a breath, there's hope of something new and miraculous kind of occurring. I think. The movie does deal with all the difficulties and the struggles and doesn't like try to pretend that the struggles are not continuing forward. But uh, it's important to, to, to see where we've, where we've come from and to, to know and to have the hope and aspiration to even be able to create a tomorrow. If you don't have the hope and aspiration, then what are you going to do? What are you trying to make? What are you trying to live into? You know? And also, you're a producer on Fruitvale Station, mm -hmm. and this year is a banner year. We have Fruitvale Station, 42, uh, 12 Years a Slave, Mandela, this film. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Hollywood is ha suddenly having such a renaissance when it comes to films about race? I don't know. I think that we're living in a time uh, where people are trying to allow different individual stories to go. The studio system has shifted itself, so the studio is doing more tentpole films that are for, of a certain price. And so we're, a lot of these films, like, like The Butler, was done independently. It was done with independent money. You know, Fruitvale Station, we raised the money, you know, um, uh, uh, me and my partner to, to, uh, to, to get the movie made. Uh, and I think some of those other ones did. There's a few studio films inside of that mix, but it's a different time. It's a different time of trying to, to get your films made and your voices heard. And there's new data, like 42, like, which is very successful. You know what I mean financially, and then of course you have the Ty Preller films in that genre that are always making money, and so I think people can like start to make um, financial gambles. That's the risk uh, factor is in less for them, and so they're starting to like do these things because they recognize that people want to see and hear these stories. Mm -hmm.